You can have all the money in the world. You can live in a big house. You can drive fine cars. You can have a lot of money. A lot of us have that. You know, my wife and I, some of my biggest fights is after we got all the big house and the big cars. Those are the biggest fights. So that really means nothing. It's about where you are in your relationship, where you are in your heart. What does this person mean to you? And I'm, am I willing to give all this up so I can just be with him or her? That's when you know you really love somebody. When all that other stuff, you're willing to give it up just so you can be with them. So those words are true words, and they'll help you have a long lasting marriage. Thanks, right? Anita Denise Bean, you have been a true blessing to my life, a wonderful gift from God. You are a beautiful woman of unwavering faith, fearless, adventurous, and pure in spirit. I thank God for molding you into the woman that you are today. I promise to love, protect, and serve you all the days of my life. The end. <laughs> Thank you for being the wonderful man that you are, for being an inspiration to me, for being patient. Thank you for allowing God to show his love for me through you. I'm very excited for this new chapter of our lives. I know that I may fall short as your wife and as a mother, but I promise that I will try to work towards perfection all the days of my life. I love you. I love you too. In the name of the Father, His Son, Jesus Christ, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, I pronounce you husband and wife. No obligation, but keep it classy. You, you're welcome to kiss your bride now if you would like to. beside her and seen her grow into this amazing woman of God. Um, I, I fully intend to walk beside both of you and be there um, to pray with you guys and whatever, you know, whatever you need, I'm here. And I know that because both of you have Jesus at the center of your lives and at the center of your marriage that you're going to win.